Saturday night in beautiful Florida. Y'all, we are going to upcycle this lampshade. I've been hanging on to this baby for quite some time. I have no lamp to go with it, but it's going to be a beautiful shade. Um, eventually, I'll find a lamp. Now we've got to decide between three transfers. This is always my biggest problem. We have so many stuff, so many items to choose from. It's really hard to decide which way to go. It just, it just is. Let me uh, see if I can figure out the comments again. And um, <clears throat> let's do this. So I'm going to a uh, top coat of, I'm going to use my ultra matte. Probably don't need it, but it's always recommended that you put a top coat down before printing transfers. That's what they recommend. However, I don't always do that. Hey, Lorraine. But it does... It really should be done like a day before so it has time to cure because it just, um, I don't know, it just, it likes sticky surface. It likes, it likes smooth, um, smooth type surfaces. Hey, Kimberly and Terry. So we're going to go ahead and do that because I feel, well, let me take the plastic off actually and get a feel for this. This is a small lampshade from Mainstays, which is Walmart, right? Um, six inch top with seven and a half inch bottom. 65 inch high. Hey, Joy. Welcome, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, you know, we could get away without putting... It's definitely stiffer than drop cloth. Hey, Monique. How are you, my friend? Y'all have this thing so long, it's got, it's got dust on it. So, y'all, Florida has palmetto bugs, right? They're disgusting. Like, they're, they're just... They're not like roaches, like, where you can have, like, a roach problem. They're just part of Florida. They're... Oh. I think Louisiana has this beat because they got even bigger ones. Thanks for scrapping out the rest. Yes, if you guys are here, if you could hit the thumbs up and share, share to Facebook, share to your own page. We just want you two to think there's a great party going on over here and, you know, we are the place to be. Hey, Shondell. I did learn if you turn your phone sideways, I'll go smaller and then you can see the chat and all the options. So I'm still learning this too. Hey, Cheryl. Um, anyways, when I was going to shut the light out because I only use my other lights. Hey, Diana heard something like I have a, a tin you know those throwaway tin pans there's one in the corner I use for water and uh I heard something <laughs> and I was like this is either a huge bug or like a mouse and I I put the video camera on it and I slowly like went over there y'all it was like it was, it was black it was like really dark but it was huge it was huge uh, so I'm like, crap, what am I going to do? Because if it falls, it's going to fall down on this box and I'm never going to see it again. So I had my little handheld vacuum, but it had a nozzle on it, like real small. I was like, that is not going to work. So with all my strength and all my might, I ripped the nozzle off. So it was like this big and I put it on high and I, I sucked it up and I ran out the door. I ran out the door with it like this, like it's going to jump back at me. <laughs> Mary. So it's, I did it though. I don't have to worry about that thing like crawling up my leg while I'm live or... Man, would that be a show? Wow, that would be a show. All right, so I am going to put... Hey, Shonda. I am going to put a top coat on this. And I think we can get away with it. But, like, drop cloth is harder to put it on. But I can um, I can rub harder on drop cloth. And I really can't on this because I'll end up pushing through on it. So, you're crap. I bet you're... I mean, they're like small mice. Like, they're no joke. I've never seen one that dark color like that before. I've never seen one actually... Well, I, yeah, once in a while, especially like if it rains a lot, they make their way like, I don't know how they get in, like through the front door. I don't know, but oh, I'm just glad I got it. I'm glad I got it. But if you could have seen me with the back, I, I don't even think I looked. I was just, <laughs> I put it on high. I thought the minute he heard it, he would like, because they fly, y'all, they fly. <laughs> oh, I need a cat. I need like lots of cats. I'm looking for a brush, but you know what? None of these brushes are going to fit in this hole here, so, um. We had the rest of nacho, not, nacho, nachos, nacho leftover, nacho leftovers. I think this is going to come off. Um, nachos, the rest of nachos. Oh, ugh. well, I, I, if he wasn't on that tin pan, I don't know that I would have heard him, but I probably would have heard something, but ugh, ugh. you know what? I'm going to use, I'm going to use DIY patina on this because it dries faster. If it's too shiny, I'll go over this and this can dry on its own. For whatever reason, as much as I love this, it does take longer to dry. So let's 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 do that. And I only feel like we need a thin coat. We need a thin coat. So this, yeah, so this is DIY liquid patina. Um oh, 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 what happened there? Oh, oh. Uh, my medium of choice. 
just puts on a nice little thin there. Like I said, I don't think we need a lot, but we just need a little something just because I can't push very hard on this. Um, and I, I really think it's going to suck it up anyway. So, um, and you won't even see it. And I don't know if it's lit up. I don't have a, a lamp to go with this. Hey, Judy. Um, like I said, I've had, I picked this up at Walmart. I don't know. I got something for lampshade. Hey, Jeannie, thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate you following me over here. Um, means a lot to me. So thank you for that. I can't really see where I'm, I'm going. I just feel like there's so much you can do with lampshades between, you know, tacking a little ribbon on there. You could put, um, the transfers on here, like we're going to do. You could stencil on here. You can paint them, but you got to be mindful, just like when you're paint. Oh, thank you, Kim. You, you got to be mindful, like when you're painting glass. You know, you think you got it all until you um, you put it up to the light and you see all the places that you missed. Um, so that, like, this is probably going to do because I can't, look. You can't even see where I, where I, where I already put product. Um, so just be mindful of that if you were to paint it. But just like when I paint, oh, I can see actually now. When I painted that canvas, um, I thought for sure you're going to be able to see through it. But I did go three coats this way, this way, the other way. Facebook was, you know, Terry, I'm so, I'm so frustrated with that, all of that. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, you know, out there's my sweet friend Mara with Vintage Retail Therapy by Mara. Y'all, Mara's on YouTube too. So is Sheila with Simply Simple Creations by Sheila. You're going to see more and more more creatives be coming to YouTube and, and it's in a way it's good but in a way it's kind of sad because it's a it's we're being forced in a sense to to have other options and other platforms because it's like beating it you know I hate to use that expression but it's like beating a dead horse it's like you know your time my time time is money money is time time is sh sh stuff we don't get back and you know I think people are just getting sick of the platform you know we just want to get on there and get live. I mean, that's all. Get live, inspire, and have a good time. And it's hard to watch somebody when they're all blurry and pixelated and in and out and their voice doesn't match their lips. And, you know, it's just, a, it's a shit show. It's a, plus, you can see naughty words over here. Not real naughty, but, you know, little, little naughty. A <laughs> little naughty. So, I'm not giving up on Facebook, but I'm, I'm just sad about it. I'm just sad about it. Without it, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't know any of you, so I have all that to be thankful and grateful for. But again, I'm not going to sit around and complain, complain, and complain, and complain about um, something and not do something about it. So that's my stance on that. <laughs> that's my stance on that. It's a shame. It's a shame. The writing's on the wall, y'all. Yeah, I'm a poet. Didn't even know it. Hooty hoo, Summer. How are you, my friend? How are you? All right. Again, I'm just putting a light coat of DIY patina. And speak of Mara, speaking of Mara, Mara is my DIY dealer. If you guys are in the need of DIY products, she is your gal. Uh, this is called the secret sauce in her world. And it is. It has a lot of uh, uses, which I like. It's a sealer. It's a glue. It's a decoupage medium it's a lot of things so and it's all natural remember my early yeah i remember you know remember what facebook's always had issues let's not you know freaking that in here let's not uh be silly but it used to be every once in a while we'd go through you know every week other week or so we'd go through something and then it would kind of straighten itself out you know and get better but I feel like the last six months have just been horrible and not getting better, getting worse, just getting worse. So I don't know. I don't know. But you mark my words. You mark my words. There will be more creatives on YouTube in the next, by the end of this year, because people are just getting fed up, getting fed up with it. Getting Look at the mess I made. Oh, how did I even do that? like perfect sprinkles perfect sprinkles for those of you I put my brush in a bag because it keeps it from drying out and if I'm not done with it guess what I just take it right back out and use it again all right let me clean up our dribbles here 
and get this get some heat on this get this baby dry in in the real world you should mm -hmm. if you're gonna they recommend you should put a medium on any of any surface you're using um it is getting worse it really is you should put a medium on any surface you're going to use for tra transfers but i do not always do that as a matter of fact i don't do it more than i should um but sometimes you need to and you should really let it cure for overnight but we don't do that either and like i said i do think it would have went down on here fine but when it's not when it's a, a fabric type surface you got to give it a little extra effort to get the transfer to transfer and um i won't be able to push too hard on this because it's a lampshade it's a lampshade i have no lamp to go with this yes judy the freezing it's just what did go away i think for me is um there was a like a good month there maybe even longer where i couldn't even i could see the video and it looked like it wanted to play and it had the and but you push it but nothing would happen and then it would show as like no minutes and i literally had to reboot my entire phone once in a while clone the app would work but i had to reboot my whole phone to get a video to play that's just cuckoo bananas y'all cuckoo bananas and then there's this page snatching and trolls everywhere and it's and we put up with a lot of crap on both sides of the fence i mean it's just frustrating just frustrating i'm not giving up but I'm not giving in either <laughs> not giving in either a person can only take so much uh is there any crazy weather yes prayers for anybody who's dealing with all the crazy weather these days yesterday it seems like all over the u.s there's something cuckoo going on right here we are having a good time over on the youtube <laughs> i love youtube so far i love youtube you know, this it doesn't sound like a big deal but there's actually people like humans so the customer support uh summer miss seeing your lives hope she kept you soon i had a power off her. yeah right judy like power off your phone to watch a bit facebook video that's just crazy um yeah actual people to for support crazy right what a, what a concept what a concept did this patina kind of make it see this was it like it before i don't really know or is it because it's wet because i put the product on there i don't know maybe this is just a walmart lampshade i'm sure i didn't pay much for it but y'all lampshades can be expensive so this is a great trick if you're looking for a a great trick no, this is not a trick <laughs> uh you know if you're at a yard sale thrift store and you need a new lampshade and it's ew you know transfers are something to consider they said we could paint it you have no problem on youtube see then that's the way it should be right i mean i understand they're free platforms movie time with the hubs movies uh hubs gonna get a nap <laughs> i'll see you soon mara well i won't see you soon but i'll chat with you soon um yeah my husband doesn't do movies we, we had this discussion i think last time mara was huh? <laughs> my husband can't even make it through the credits and it only likes like three movies. So yeah, there's that. Oh no, that's so wet. It's still damp. I think Mother Nature's playing April Fools. Yes, uh, yeah. I missed the rest of that, but it's snow. Oh yeah, look at the color. You can see it's wet. See that now in that that angle? Oh, I see it now. Oh wow, it's wet. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's damp. Um, yeah, some people got snow tornadoes i mean just craziness it's humid as all get out here still right now tonight it's humid humid but it's just gonna get more humid as summer nears we had a few beautiful days so i'm not complaining um back soon shauna having surgery monday hope i'll be well enough oh in a week of summer prayers for you girl whatever you're having done i hope it fixes you and I hope you have a speedy recovery and I hope all goes well it's scary these days going into stuff like that I feel like the older we get the scarier it gets <laughs> we're over coming back out not to worry you summer but I'm just I'm just saying yeah you get a bill from like an out-of-network doctor that 
you know, here you are knocked out in the surgery room. God only knows what they're seeing on you or seeing you, your unmentionables, you know. Uh, who knows how many people are in there? You didn't take a roll check before they knocked you out. And then you get this bill from some out-of-network guy that was in the room that wants to charge you like three grand because he passed the scalpel or something. You know, like, I didn't provide... I, it doesn't even make any sense. We got like the worst medical... Don't even get me going on. All right, we're starting to dry now. See more dry spots than wet spots? We're getting there. That spot's really wet. I hope it's... Yeah, it's wet. Maybe putting this on right now is not the best idea, but we're too far into it now, so I don't have another lampshade like this. So I don't have a backup lamp. Um, yeah. Nothing you say will freak me out more than I already. <laughs> First major surgery. Yeah. Well, major surgery, that's not good. Um, well, it's a really nice nap. Like, it's a really, like, the best nap you ever have. Um, I can tell you that. So if they're going to see any of your unmentionables, they've seen worse. Uh, so don't worry about that. Um, just, just pray everything goes the way it should. I don't know what else <laughs> to say. Ugh. Any surgery of any kind. Uh, the freezing is a pain. Yes, I agree, Terry. I agree. Like I said, it's not everybody. It's not everybody. Some people have no problems at all. And I know, I, I don't like change. I get it. I don't like it. You know, I'm learning this. A lot of you I take my hat off to because a lot of you don't like technology nor know what the heck you're doing, but you're trying and you're over here. So that says a lot. Silver lining on ketchup. I'm <laughs> missing sleep. Yes, yes. Uh, you can, I, I, there's nothing like an anesthesia nap, that's for sure. Um, so, you know, uh, some people are just no way they're not leaving Facebook, and that's okay. I mean, that's it's all right. I mean, it is what it is. But I do, I do see by the end of the year that you're going to see more and more creators over here. I just, I feel it. I feel like the writing's on the wall. I do, I do. I do, I do. Y'all, this should, this was not supposed to take this long. Let's see where we're at. I can still see weirdness in that light. And it's still, how can this, see, I used that DIY patina purposely. Can you see it? it's all spotty that's what's gonna happen if I got a light on it how can I test this my lights aren't bright enough all right you know what? I'm gonna try I'm gonna yeah that looks terrible like that angle huh well not gonna make a decision on which one it sounds yeah it does sound dry I can feel it I can feel it's wet let me give it a minute to cool I gotta make a decision so I got it down to three books painterly florals this is a lot of meat y'all and i think i think that's what we're gonna go with so you get two pages of sunflowers three pages of lavender and three pages of peonies well it's kind of two pages of peonies and then stems but i think we're gonna go with the lavender look at those sunflowers how good they are did you guys know that um yeah transfer we're gonna transfer on it did you guys know that um like especially this one these are hand painted by the sisters and then they go into production you can really see see how they're oil painted on the peony um and then they go into production like that yeah i love the lavender too. i think that's the one we're gonna go with and then i got the fronds which i just thought like a plain uh fern you know would be good not too much but in the green with this color would be really nice but i keep learning leaning towards the um but then I think the mushrooms would look great on here, but I don't have any mushrooms. Well, I got the tapestry. It was either the mushrooms or the flowers. I feel like the flowers are a little close. They're too muted, aren't they? These need to go on like a bright background. Yeah, these will be lost. Yeah, this is still... Now I can feel it's wet. 
That is so weird. Right, yeah, let's go with, let's go with it. Well, let me see if I have enough. Actually, I haven't opened this book in some time. It's probably, oh, well, that's probably enough, right? Okay. So the nice thing about these, see how tall they are? But you could cut it, um, what's, uh, the lavender is painterly florals. Paint is an eight pager. Painterly florals. You want to take a screenshot of it. And here's the back. So I'll show you the sunflower. They're pretty crazy. So the great thing about these um, lavenders, see how tall they are? You can actually clip them anywhere. You know what I mean? Like you can see, I took up the flower out of there. But you can clip them anywhere you need them, and it still looks like the flower. You know what I mean? It's not like, looks like you cut the flower in half. Um, but look at the, well, I used... Summer's got one of these sunflowers, maybe even two. Look, here's a stem. <laughs> um, look how good these, these are hand-painted too, but look how good these sunflowers are. I mean, that, like, that thing's huge. That's the back of another page. I just cut that out, but they're pretty good. They're pretty good. Some, uh, some pages are missing out of here because I've had this one a while. So you get two whole pages of the lavender. This is really pretty. I could pick some of those out and put them... Actually, it looks like a little different flower. I haven't used any of the peonies that I'm aware of. You can really see those are oil painted in, when you see it here. My book's falling apart. Pretty cool. They're big. And then a bunch of, you could use this for anything. Um, all right, so we got two pages of lavender. I wish there was more in this round. Can't use the round. The round would look pretty just a round um, cutting board and call it a craft. That's a good, this is really a good sunflower. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. And we'll put them at different heights. We'll put them at different heights so we can use, yeah. It's still damp, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try it, and if it doesn't go down, then I'm gonna have to dry it. There's really nothing I can do. I did not expect it to be. I used that stuff purposely because, well, I mean, maybe if I would have used the other stuff, we would have been here for two days. <laughs> oh, it's ready to dry. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and rip this other page out so we can put this book away. Ooh, come on. Oh, now the book. Now the book's really falling apart. I just took out the middle page and now everything just separated. Oh well. Oh wells. Oh well. I made more of them uh, body gel molds. Heavy body gel molds. Um, I got them sitting over there. I can't wait to rip them out. It says like ripping, taking off sunburnt skin. <laughs> um, okay, so. I think it'll be easier if I do these like two at a time because it's rounded. Round's always weird, you know? And then we can, um, yeah, and then we can make them different sizes. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start with that theory. So, I'm gonna start down here and go up. Oh, I, I don't think what I just did right there was right. Hey, whoops. Hold up, hold up. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. That's so close. Okay. You want to leave your white backing on, roundish. <laughs> you want to leave your white backing on until you're ready to use it because it is sticky. And the beautiful part about IOZ I, uh, transfers is nine out of 10. The only one I can think of is, um, oh no, that's something else. Actually, I think all of the IOD transfers have this white on the back. So what that means is it doesn't matter what color you put it on, it's going to stay true to its color. You know, like when you decoupage, you do something light on dark, you've got to lighten the background up because you can see it, but not with these because it's totally solid. Now, remember too, IOD has the high quality where they don't have the outside um, haze, I think is what they call it. So each individual little twig and whatever is its own little sticker, so to speak. So you have to literally rub on every every area. I cut this wrong, so now I gotta cut this. I knew I cut it wrong the minute I cut it. I cut low and high thinking I was being fancy, but that was, 
There's nothing fancy about that. That was just a mistake. <laughs> it's just a mistake. Oopsie daisy. Oopsie daisy. All right, let's go. Let's see if this baby will stick. No halo. Halo, halo, halo. Thank you, Summer. Halo. 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 Oh, this will be pretty if it works. Now, this is totally off-label use. That'd be pretty. I mean, it's upside down. But uh, totally off-label use. You're supposed to put transfers on, you know, glass, something slick, smooth surface. But we, we break the rules all the time. We've done it just on fabric, just on drop cloth. Sometimes, sometimes transfers go down no problem, and sometimes they're a problem. It's just every experience is different, in my opinion. Sometimes more work than others. There's no really reason why, but it's just, just the way it is. Just the way it is. So, we'll see. I, I, I hear it. I hear that kind of air popping. So, some of it is, is going down. I can kind of see it. Oh, yeah, I could see it. It turns like translucent when it releases itself. See, between that flower and that flower, the color change, that means this one is here adhered, that one's still not. And I just, I think I found, if I hit the top chat, it shows me the last. Oh, that you love the rebel in me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. But this is a lampshade, so I can only push so hard with my hand inside of here. But we'll see when I get this one on if it's, shows like a big dig <laughs> a big a big gouge from where i've been uh trying to get this on there let's see. well you don't know until you try right you don't know if it's gonna work and if it doesn't work then just don't do this <laughs> i gotta get that a shirt i'm a rebel all right it looks like it's down let's see nope that is not down and if it doesn't go down, just lay it down and rub it on until it goes down because that's the beautiful thing about transfers too is they're not fun to watch, but it makes you look like you know what you're doing when you're done with the project because it looks amazing. It looks amazing. Okay, I can see now where it's not going to stick. I can't believe that big bug, y'all. We're going to have the heebie-jeebies with that. I'm so glad I got him. So glad I got him. So and I'm so glad it wasn't a mouse. I'm so glad it was not a mouse or a rat or something worse, like a snake. Okay, this is gonna take effort. I see. It's like every single one, a piece of it's going down. Oh, it's so pretty though. Look, that I buy that in a store. And a fancy word, you gotta burnish it. Just means make sure it's down. I just use my finger. My finger. That is so pretty. It's, it's still damp, but we're gonna keep on going. We're gonna keep on trucking. So I'm gonna do something like that all the way. Well, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go like this all the way around. And then if it, I feel like it needs it, then we can always add some little pieces in here and there if it looks too uniform. You know what I'm saying? Catching what I'm throwing. I need my, I need my scrappy thing of a bob. I'm gonna slam that door one day, and all this crap's gonna come flying down. <laughs> it's all gonna come flying down. There we go. I can't use this to push on, but I can at use least, least use it to hold here, hold me here. Ugh. Keep it stable. While I'm, while I'm here. See what that does <laughs> not much i didn't do much at all oh that that wasn't look it's coming up oh that's not good okay it didn't stick did you see that did you see what just happened that wasn't good yeah see a lot of it's going down but there's little tiny pieces that aren't that's what's making me work work girl work work it but it is working Come on, stick, stop popping up. Stick, stop popping up. Oh, <laughs> we're on the wrong one. I already put that one down, silly. Oh dear, oh dear. Today was, uh, this week was the first week 
I feel like that actually flew by and I knew what day it was. And I think that's why it flew by because I actually knew what day it was. In the past, I the weeks have been long because I've been a day off. I kind of like that being a day off because like I said, it makes the, oh, the weeks seem longer. It's a good thing. It's April, April 1st. It's gonna be Christmas before we know it. I mean, it's just time is just zipping by, man. Zippity doo dah. All right, there's little pieces coming off. Oh, that I can't. That's gotta go down. I'm not gonna worry about the itty bitty tiny pieces that don't matter, but those two big green leaves kind of matter when that matters. See the little pieces. So if this really bothered you, do you see that those pieces that are left? While I had that down, I could literally just rub those back in and you wouldn't even see like a crack or anything. But I'm gonna not gonna get that. Um, you can't even tell. We're not gonna get that cray cray. We're not gonna get that cray cray. All right, let's go. <clears throat> Another couple. Oh, let's go. Let's cut these two out. I'm just gonna cut a couple out. And... Mm, that one's crisscrossed applesauce. Oh, we can't go all the way up, anyways. I had a salamander. Oh God. I can only imagine where this come, this is going. Hold on, I gotta hit this button so I can see. I had a salamander in my laundry room yesterday, so I opened the back door and watched from the kitchen. <laughs> oh my God. <coughs> the salamanders, they look, I don't know if they're the same as a skink or a skank. I don't know if I'm saying it right. <coughs> it's probably not skank, it's probably skink. Um, <coughs> we have one on the porch, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> I inhaled my own spit. That is Gary's, I think it's Gary's girlfriend. And uh, there was a, the other more, it was, I think it was yet, it was the day before yesterday, it might have been yesterday. Anyways, I opened the back porch and um, <coughs> the door and I scared the crap, I mean, I scared the crap out of this thing, like so much, like he, he flipped over and he flew off the porch, but it was like a burgundy one. He was big, like burgundy and black, <coughs> but they are like freaky looking like really freaky looking. Um, we went to, um, we have a buddy that's a police officer and, uh, he was part of my husband's, uh, deer camp where he used to be. And we used to, he used to, I met him at the bar, we at the bar and that's how we met him. But anyways, <laughs> we were at camp once and we're sitting there in the daylight, just sitting there around the fire, the fire, I don't even think the fire was going. And he grabs his leg like this and he goes, there's something crawling in my pants. Like, it's calm as calm as can be. And I'm like, come on, not ah, stop it. No, Trace, surely there's something crawling in my pants. And he's just holding it there, finishing his beer. I, I thought he was joking. He literally got up because he had like, not quite sweatpants on, but like gym shorts. <clears throat> he got up and it was the biggest, nastiest salamander or skank or skink or, oh, it was black with white, oh. And he's just holding it in his, in his pants. And he didn't even flinch. Like, he was just, okay. There's a big lizard in my, crawling up my leg. But it's cool. It's cool. I'm trying to get one that doesn't look the same. There's no way. I would have been, like, uh, they're mixed between a lizard. They do look like they're a lizard and a snake. They do. Y'all, I would have been, I would have been ripped my pants off and ran for the hills. Yeah, he's just cool as could be. I, I really didn't even think he had, I thought he was joking. Like that's how calm he was. Nope. He was serious, serious as could be. You see that? You gotta really get this on here before you take off cause it's just slippery. Doesn't wanna stick, doesn't wanna stick. If I had something I could shove in here like a jar, that'd probably make it a little easier, but maybe not because I don't know. This lampshade is very bendy, as you can see. It's very bendy. It's very bendy. Very bendy. Ooh. Okay. Oh. It's gonna be beautiful though. I love these colors together. Now I gotta get a lamp. I don't even have oh, you know what? I don't know how you got in your house. Right? How'd you get in the house? So many different kinds of creepy. That's true, Judy. There's a lot of weird stuff in Florida. Um I do have, actually, I do have two lamps that we thrifted. One of them I painted black. I wonder where those are. They must be in here somewhere. 
I wonder if one of those will fit. I have no idea what kind of... Oh, I'll have to try to find it. And one's like ugly cream color. I'll have to see if either of those fit. Then maybe we can do something to one of those and actually make a lamp. That'd be brilliant, right? Here me, I just do a lampshade with no lamp. <laughs> Eventually you'll get one, right? <laughs> Eventually you'll get one. Or find one. Lampshades and lamps are tricky because they got these stupid things that you never know which kind of one you need. Yeah, I'm getting a workout. It's not... It's tedious is what this is. Because I can't push too hard. Because I'm going to break the lamp. But you can't see... Um, I don't see a groove where I'm pushing. Yeah, I could try a mason jar. I could try. Yeah, I'll just put it next. It's just finicky. I don't know if it, a mason... I don't know if it needs flex or it needs something hard or both. These little skinny parts don't like to stay down. No, we're going to be here forever. We can just do a couple. You'll get the skinny. You don't have to watch me do all these. That's kind of crazy. That's kind of cray-cray, but I love it. I love it. We need one to go this way. That one should have been straight. I don't know. I could nitpick that all night. What do I got we could try to use? That won't work. Starbucks. <laughs> Star I got some... <laughs> Let's see what this does. Oh. <laughs> the lamps, the thing's in the way. Oh, that might work. Let's see what that does. Let's see what that does. Should we go low? A couple low? One low? Let's go one low. <clears throat> what type is that? Top chat. Survey says. Oh, nothing's in there. What happened? My top chat didn't work. There it is. It's Oh, it's looking good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'm going to go. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to double these up. I got to make things difficult is what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make this difficult. <laughs> uh, I think... If it'll work. Oh, that's too tall. That don't work. We'll come back to that. Let me get some straight ones here. We need a straight one. Let's cut this. Oh, dear. Oh, that's a lot of lavender. It'd be pretty if you just put it on like this on something. Just on a, to make a picture. Call it a craft. Call it a craft. So if you guys are looking for Dixie Bell, I'm not a retailer or anything, but I didn't know they have smaller sizes out of their paint. So if you've been thinking about wanting their paint or they're on a budget, they have smaller ones than this size. Well, this is DIY, but that vintage duck egg blue that everybody loves. Um, they, I would I assume all, all retailers have the smaller sizes. I could be wrong. Should we go up high with this one? Yeah. Uh... Yeah, right there. Okay. So there's that. That's kind of cool because they should offer it in other sizes. I'm a little disappointed with Wise Owl these days, but that's a whole other story. Right there. Oh, yeah. Stuck. like a, it's like surgery summer summer just think you could have somebody like well that's probably not a good example because then you could reverse that on me and you could have um that's a lot of things going on here <laughs> um you could have someone that doesn't pay attention to anything be in your operating room but you could have somebody like me that pays attention to detail in your operating room so you know your hand you're all set but then again, that could be the opposite way too. So let's forget I even said that. Everything's gonna be great. You're gonna come out like a new woman. Like a new woman. This bottle doesn't really make much of a difference. If that thingamabob wasn't in the way, maybe. Maybe the next, see where it's at? Like, right, 
right on the line. I guess it did help a little. We'll have to see the, if I can get by. Well, it might be next two. At least get to that one and then we can we can part ways. I can show you it the next time. Because, I mean, nothing like being repetitive here. Have I ever... What if I hit live chat? Okay, have you ever been a pop shop store? I had not, Judy. Are they in Florida now? I have not been to one. I've seen one. It's like the mix of a Target and a, a $5 tree. Or a $5 tree. Um, a five and below. That's what I heard. I, I, I've been to five below a few times. And I don't think I've ever bought any. Oh, I did. The only thing I bought was like these two. I think they were $5. They were totally worth it. They might have been $10. But they were um, like a wood art type desk. I did it. Uh, a really beautiful stuff. I did two of them, a stencil and something else. It was just a nice surface to work on, but I don't, nothing, nothing else fancied me. Like they have some really cute t-shirts for five bucks, but they never have them in your size, I noticed. I mean, I haven't been in there a lot. I know a lot of people have bought that rug that's all different colors and you can like pull it apart to make like, you know, but like a ton of bows, but I don't know, it just never, I mean, it looks cool when you go in there and it looks like a bunch of cool stuff. And they're like, tele... their electronic stuff's really cheap. Look how cute that is. How come they're all going that way? <laughs> Look the way the sun's, I was trying to get one straight. Yeah, it's going on that way. There's another one going that way. Can't do that one because it's going that way. We need one to go that way. This one's straight. I thought that one was straight. That's weird. I could make this one. Well, let's see. Um, let me see if I put a tiny one in here. Yeah, that might look weird. A little one in there doesn't look good. Just found out I have Pop Shelf in Lake Charles. Marshall for it. I looked. There are several I haven't bought one yet. Oh, I'll have to check, Judy. Um, I mean, it's like a whole new world for me here. Bill, um, to be the closest, which is still an hour one way. Um, Crystal River has stuff, but more like Home Depot or I don't even think they have a Lowe's, but that's an hour and 20 minutes. That's a little farther. That's a little farther, so. Um, I'm go a little lower with this one. Uh, yeah. So, I don't know. We ventured to Gainesville once. We went to Home Depot. That was fun. Beautiful backcountry roads. That's what I was telling you. We saw all of those azaleas because the azaleas bloom in the winter in Florida. It's like the only flower that blooms in the winter months. <clears throat> and they stopped blooming, by the way. Um, but now everything else is blooming, so that's good. But it was just such a beautiful ride. Um, it was just a nice ride. It was, wasn't stressful. It wasn't like, well, actually on the way there, we ended up, it, uh, the GPS took us, um, onto 275 for a little bit and that sucked. But on the way back, we found a way to, to avoid that. And it was actually quicker, um, so hopefully we can repeat that pattern. But they got a Hobby Lobby. <laughs> danger, danger. They got a Hobby Lobby. Um, just about anything you can possibly think of. They have um, uh, the Goodwill bins. And then they also have, I think it's called Bargain City. I could be wrong of the name. Something like that. But it's one of those. Um, I just have painting coffee table and using Dixie Bell. Yeah, you'll like it, Terry. Dixie Bell's paint's really nice. Um, what color are you doing? Gives really great coverage. Um, uh, crap, the name was just, uh, not amazing bins. Um, crap. Some, it's like, uh, like the Amazon where they buy too much and you can, every day is, um, every day is a different dollar amount. Like everything's $7 on Friday and Saturday, everything's 
um, amazing bins, something, something bins or something amazing. I can't think of what it is. I just started getting um, notifications. I'd like to check that out one day. My girlfriend and I, for my 50th birthday last year, we went to the Goodwill bins, which was really cool. It's a pop shelf about 30 minutes from me. Oh yeah, Shawnee, you gotta go check it out, girl. Get it, girl. Um, it was amazing. It was scary. Uh, bargain hunt. It wasn't a bargain. Bargain bins? Bargain bins. I think it's called bargain bins. I gotta check that out. Because I got some cool stuff. Um, but the Goodwill bins look nothing, nothing like you see these girls on their video and there's nobody in there and it's all clean and there's these bins up to their waist good lord this looks like I, I don't even know it it, it was scary it did not look like that at all and there was no there was two of those blue bins up to your waist but they were pushed off in the corner everything else you had to go in it looks like you're in a um uh amazon deal store they're acting wild and crazy yeah it's something like that is so pretty um let me see if that color went away. I still see it. I think the DIY patina, uh, San Francisco. I think the DIY patina might have did that. See it? But maybe another top. But you can't really see it when you got the transfers on there. But who knows what it'll look like in the light? Wish I had a light to shove up in here. I would. Um. It yeah. It was it was bad. It was uh. It was like dumpster diving, absolutely. And you can't have a cart. So what they did, they did, they had like boxes and bins and um, there was just junk. There was stuff everywhere. It was like dangerous. It was actually dangerous. Um, when it was time to switch the bins, they would like you make it back up because you had to park your cart on the wall because you didn't have your cart there. And then when they were bringing the new carts in, they made you get away and then they lined them up and then they set up this horn like they say, go. Well, the experienced people take their bin and they just empty the whole cart into their bin and drag it over to the side and um, look through it. I don't like that because they're all going that way. Um, so, um, I guess it's smart on their half. That That's smart to do. Oh, here's a double one. We're going to use that one. Um, and then in the other room, they had clothes which was kind of like the same deal. But it's really sad. I mean, they break and stuff. So, I mean, you got to be careful because there's broken glass and all kinds of stuff in the bottom of those bins. Um, I mean, you can wear gloves, but... But I would like to go to the one, one of the ones I see on, on these videos. <laughs> that was good. That looks like a good time. But we scored some really decent... Um, I'm going to go right to the top of this one. We scored some decent stuff. And it's like by the pound, you know, like clothes or not clothes, but um, textiles are, you know, a dollar a pound. I don't know what they are, but glass was a certain amount of pound. And then any big items, they would just give you a price, just pull a price out of their butt when you get up there. You know, whatever price came out of their mouth is what you paid. Um, oh, this double one's really pretty. I'm going right to the top of this one. Kind of straighten us back out. Maybe. Went too high. Hold on. I got to trim a little bit off the bottom. Um, but it's sad because all that stuff's going to the burn pile. Like it's, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I, there's got to be other uses for it. How many times can you try to get rid of it, you know, before it starts costing you? Hey, hey guys. Still trying to figure out. A, oh, that's tough, Terry. That's tough. Depends if you're going for like what kind of finish you're going for. If you're going for a shiny finish, I've done a few pieces of furniture. Like I did our countertops. Of course, every everything, it depends what it is, what kind of wood, what kind of look you're going for. But if you're going for something shiny in the end, I would highly recommend um, you sand in between each coat, um, <clears throat> through your paints, you know, through your top coat and all of that. Like I was top coat and all of that. Like I was terrified when... I did our kitchen cabinets. I actually, not our cabinets, our, our countertops. We only had so much money for our kitchen and I wanted what I wanted. And I really wanted concrete countertops, but we couldn't fit, we couldn't afford those. So, and we did, 
all the work ourselves, but I'll, I didn't want ordinary, imagine that. I didn't want regular like Formica countertops. I just didn't. I wanted concrete or wood, butcher block, whatever. So money-wise, I ended up figuring out that you ever see those oak stair, they're one inch solid oak stair risers, they're actual stairs and they have the rounded edge. And I actually figured out that two of those so, so they have the rounded edge. So if you cut off the rounded edge on one and put them, butted them up, they were exact length I needed for my countertops. So that's what I ended up doing. Um, uh, you overslept, Jim? <laughs> what? Morning, Muffin. Um, so I ended up using those. And I, I, I don't know how many things of stain I tried before I figured out. I ended up doing a really, really, really dark brown stain. But when I had to put the top coat on, because that was so important... You know because it's a kitchen and uh i ended up when i did the top coat where you had to use the steel wool and all, i was like and then it, it it messed it all up it scratched it all up but i trusted the process and i did you know what videos i had watched or whatever and it came out awesome and uh jim says good morning to you and all you fantastic creatives that's us we are here and we are fabulous tonight we are taking a boring lampshade and we are making it fabulous by using IOD painterly florals transfer and we are using the lavender now this is off record off label use they're not meant to go on lampshades or any material period but there's a little left on that one but we don't care and, oh yeah we missed enough stick right there um oh it rolled up that's okay because oh wait oh wait 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 okay let me show you something now see that little see that missing it doesn't look like much on here but it's right there let me show you the beauty of these if i can get it on there right beauty if it goes on right, you never know this happens. So don't tell anybody if we get it on there right. Ta-da! You see that? Pretty gangster, huh? That's so pretty. Jim, do you want to buy a lampshade? <sighs> Jim worked too hard. <laughs> All right. Let's do one more. And we'll call it a craft because I'm just going to keep doing the same thing over and over. I'm pretty sure you guys get the skinny. You're probably sick of watching it. Um, you do need a lampshade. You need a woman's touch, you say. Um, I still want... They're all going... The sun must be that way. Your kitchen island, 100 years... Oh, crap, 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 crap. You had a busy... Oh, what was that? You had a busy day today? Oh, today's Saturday. Yeah. My kitchen now is 100 years old. Barnwood, plain down and 10 coats of sealer. <sighs> oh, summer, I'd love to. That's dreamy. That's just like talking dirty to me. <laughs> I'd love to see pictures of that. Wow. Wow. I have a mobile home sink that is very shallow and I hate it. I like a deep sink. Our old place had, I've made sure we had a deep. That was one thing priority on my list. I remember I spent $300 on it about puked but I had to have it because it was nice and deep and then you got to have a nice uh you know gooseneck type uh a faucet so this whole set is bigger bigger lavenders I've just realized um because nothing like trying to wash a pot and you know water flying everywhere yeah these are bigger that's weird okay let's keep going let me find another straightish one Oh, look, we got one going left. Finally. Uh, sounds, I know, doesn't it, Judy? Oh, there it is. It's like, where'd it go? Oh, here it is. Wow, I'd love to have that. Actually, the couple who, um, they, they must have re redid our kitchen because it's actually like the cabinets are duck egg, vintage duck egg blue. Or they might be apothecary. I think they're the DIY apothecary color. Yeah. I'll, oh, yeah. Not right now, Summer. Whenever. Yeah, I would love to see that. Um, so they painted them, obviously. 
but I also think they put in extra cabinetry and they they did the countertop, which is Formica, but it's really, oh, did you see my finger locked up? It's really thick. Um, and it, it really matches, I don't know, they, they did a good job. But when we moved in, um, you could tell they were trying to DIY. The floors were all different. I mean, this place is not very big, mind you. Remember, it's only 600 something square feet. Um, all the floors were different. They actually put tile over linoleum. You know how that ended. It was just falling. It was just popping everywhere. You vacuum and you stuck up all the ground. <laughs> so it was easy to pop up. It was easy to pop up, thankfully. Wait, why is this one going that way? I cut the wrong one. Oh, son of a gun. I cut the wrong stinking one. I was all excited. We got one going left. What a meathead. <sighs> Anywho, anywho. So anyways, the kitchen isn't bad. It's not bad. Not bad. The floors, on the other hand, those had to be ripped out. Because they had, like, indoor-outdoor carpet, one little square. <laughs> and they had some other, like, peel and stick. It was a mess. It was a mess. And they had these wicked, thick, thick, nice material, but thick and ugly curtains. They're, the print was pretty, but ugly. Oh, I'm going to, yeah, we're going to go one more. All right, two more. Watch me. I'm going to put two more on, and then we're going to part ways. Because <laughs> I don't want to bore you to death you know, with my stories here. My boring stories. Story time. Can we, can we just get one from here? Yeah. This one should work. Uh... Yeah, let's see what this one does. April 1st, guys. That means my birthday's next month. That means I'm going to be a freaking year older than I am now. Ugh. It could stop at any time. I'm cool. I'm cool with this age. I'm cool. Not boring at all. You love my story. <laughs> you never heard this one. Oh, I want to put this one in the middle. Wait, this one. Wait, this guy is going... Yeah. So he's going to go here. Right here. Yeah. That's cope aesthetic. Oh, crap. I missed it. All right. So at least I could figure out how to see your. We just rebuild our home and we got granite. Oh, granite. I've always wanted like concrete or. I love natural materials. I, I would love a thick butcher block or something like summer's got but i'm i'm happy with i don't really care i mean i guess i don't care now when I, at the time when we were doing it i cared i hope that's in the right spot because i just kind of moved it granite looks great Did you <laughs> be careful yes um i don't know uh, oh did you see them ugly ass uh Refrigerators they have at home people are like matte. They're they're weird. They're like they have orange and yellow and lime green and they are just ugly. I mean they'd be alright for like an office or something, but they're modern and they're just hideous. And they're expensive. The whole line is like that, the stove and everything. I mean they are ugly. They're a a, a color and then like a thin shiny over it just square they're there's they're ugly they're ugly they're hideous i mean unless you really like like modern 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 then you probably love it but like i said it, it would look cool in a, a doctor's office or something like that but not not in your home i wanted to put your box up there they are more money judy ikea has a decent <laughs> ikea <laughs> ikea has a decent uh line of them and you know who just got butcher block is um lowe's and there's two different brands and one of the brands i missed it i, I was following this guy on tiktok oh crap the alarm's coming up. and he does that um those lowe's deals it's like the secret clearance and uh he found that 
they had the butcher block and Lowe's was doing away with one brand bringing in another brand. So they had both there at the same time, but they had a, um, you didn't like them either. Yeah. There's different styles of butcher block. Um, it, it was something like 35 bucks for the biggest one or whatever. But of course all the stores were wiped out before anybody really even saw that TikTok video. But I of course look, <laughs> I looked for, I was going to use it for, um, a desk in here for my other, actually for my desk but they didn't have them anymore. But the new brand they have is actually pretty pretty nice and pretty me. Okay, so look, I just took that. See what's happening here? It's not on there and the other piece is on here. So we're just gonna fix that. I'll lay that down. This doesn't normally happen when you're on a, um, it's even worse than the 50s and 60s, I think. Um, Good luck at Ikea. I mean, that's quite the adventure. <laughs> I don't get along with Ikea too well. Actually, don't order delivery, whatever you do. If you want an Ikea butcher block countertop. For oh, that's what I was going to do, Jim. That's what I was going to do. Cause I, so I was going to have my, and I still might do something like that. I just kind of put it on the back burner. Um, I wanted like an eight foot desk. So I was going to put the butcher block uh, right at, across the top of my other desk so I had more room um, and I still might I really want floating shelves over there haven't done that yet either your craft room has done a lot of Ikea yeah, listen Ikea has some amazing things but man their customer service is the pits like the complete pits there's a lot actually the live that I did that um I don't know if you were on my Facebook yeah you were I did that Highland Cow shirt like this I went on a huge rant about Ikea. They, uh, they, uh, yes, you're right, Joy. Um, they totally screwed me. I mean, they were just horrific. The lady was literally yelling at me, swearing at me. They don't, I, I, it, there's a whole video on it. There's a whole video on it. Uh, yes, the shelves, like it was stupid. They send me, because you have to have the sides and you have to have the shelves, but they didn't have one of whatever they were. Check out floor and decor. They have lots of, oh, that's, I would never have thought of floor and decor. Uh, Queen Bee, number 16, shared. Well, thank you, my friend. Queen Bee, guess what, girl? This girl right here monetized the other day. Woo! So I have to thank you for your, uh, your help during all of this as well. So thank you. All right, here's my left guy. Here's my guy going left. We're going to go down. I hate to go down low with that one, but I got to. Um, so yeah, so cause for celebration, <laughs> cause for celebration. Y'all so proud, so proud. Walking in suede boots, leg jeans, flannel shirt. Yes, girl. Well, I got my Uggs on and I guess leggings. No flannel tonight. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, so that's super exciting. Also, if you guys didn't know, you can layer these transfers. You can layer one over one another. Sometimes it takes a little more effort to, um, uh, you got your countertops that way and we paid them to recut them. Oh, that's cool. Um, it might take a little extra effort to rub when it's actually over the transfer itself. Um, but you can layer these, totally layer them. Yes, good evening. We got some men in the house too, Queen Bee. We do, we do, we do. Woohoo! We got the whole, we got a nice variety. You got craftsmen cabinets through stein i never heard of stein's lumber never heard of stein's lumber i would have never thought of floor and decor that place is everywhere well i feel like it's everywhere it's everywhere man it's everywhere it's everywhere so on uh my live on facebook i showed uh ron and i went to a thrift store antique store spent 87 bucks i showed my haul we did good we did really good i really don't want to be oh thank you judy thank you guys for getting me there um i just i couldn't take it anymore but the men are being quiet i um i couldn't take it the pressure anymore i had to go shopping so i did but we spent 87 bucks we did really good the best buy was this ginormous window that looks like it's from the early 1800s it was it had 40 on it but it ended up getting it for, well, it was 20 it was 20 bucks it was awesome thank you queen bee um, so yeah, 
Got a huge roll, biggest rolling pin I've ever seen in my life and heavy, but it's not, it's not old. Four hymnal books, which brings me, I'm going to figure out how to get hymnal pages, uh, packs of hymn, hymnal pages up on the website. Oh, I did it again with a stem. So stay tuned for that. Central California queen bee in the house. Oh, all right, right here. Woo! Um, what else do we get? Two old, really old rolling pins, some spools, and how are we looking? <laughs> gotta burnish it. Oh, yeah, I got his rolling pins right here. I gotta show you because I keep tripping over it. Oh, a big box, a couple of. Oh, another music Spanish music book. Look at this thing. <laughs> it is so heavy. Like, uh, if I had my scale here right now, it, it's it's the biggest one I've ever seen. I was trying to see. I do not see any plastic that I can I can tell because it has plastic. It's not vintage, and I don't think this is. But I just thought it was a perfect surface to uh, do some serious decoupage on because this thing's got to be. It's got to be five pounds. It's heavier than a gallon of milk. How much is a gallon of milk? I don't know. I, I don't really know my weight, so. A wood box. The hymnals are the hymnals are great. Great, great find. And some spools. And I think that was it. I'm looking around like it's sitting here. All right. Should I continue on or are you guys bored out of your skulls? I gotta get the, I gotta find I gotta find the lamp. Terrier. <laughs> I'll let you answer that, Jim. Jim has, Jim's a dog lover. A dog. Eight pounds? I kind of believe you. It could be eight pounds. I got my scale over there, but I really want to use this one, even though it's different size. I'm going to use it. I'm using it. I'm using it. I am, I am. I got scraps all over the place. Guys, do not throw your scraps out. Get yourself a little bin or container or something and keep, you know, stuff like this. You'll never know when you can use it for a filler. Because we may even... Uh, I have been spitting that all over the shelves. <laughs> oh, Chloe is... Oh. Um, we can even add another layer of something over this if we want to or if we think it needs something else. So there's always that option. It doesn't have to end here. Uh, good weapon of choice, <laughs> right? You're right there. It would definitely knock, it would definitely ring your bell. Um, the other thing you could do with this lampshade after, I mean, you don't even have to put transfers on it, but we could also take a stencil to it and uh, add a little design there. Just got to be mindful of the light coming through. And I'm really... I don't have a flashlight here. I'm really not sure about that patina since we can see it in the shadow. But I am going to see if either of those, if I, first of all, if I can find those two lamps I had thrifted. <laughs> Tell Chloe. Uh, Chloe will say hi back. Um, if they'll fit this lamp, and if they'll fit this lamp, then we'll redo those lamps. I'm kind of thinking uh, salt wash. We haven't salt washed in a minute. I know one of them I painted black. Why? I have no idea. A gallon of milk is 8.6 pounds. Uh, oh, there's an adult head. <laughs> uh, that's, that definitely weighs more than a a, uh, a gallon of milk. Wow. I didn't know milk was that heavy. So that's pretty cool if I could carry two gallons of milk in the house in one hand. That's pretty impressive. These chicken wings. <laughs> These chicken wings. That's funny. That. That's funny. Oh, I did get video of um, um I did take video of Dollar Tree yesterday. I thought I didn't. They had some I'm really impressed. I'm glad I found not that I need anything, but just in case I ever do. It's better than that junk one I lived by. But it's always packed. Well, I say always, I've only been there twice. <laughs> Both times it was packed, but it's the only one around, so makes sense. Thing that thing came out, the middle came off again. See that green where it skipped? And it's so small, 
It's hard to believe it me leaves that big hole. And you know, I could probably leave it there and no one would ever know but me. It would bug the crap out of me for the rest of my life. So if I were to keep this. So we're going to... We're going to make it right. Like it never happened. That's that's pretty cool that you can do that. Like... I'm going to run hard on that one. All right, we're ranging near. Ranging near. And I wouldn't think... I mean, these are really thin plastic. I, I don't... Unless you had like a 400 watt... If you had a 400 watt light bulb in here, probably just set your your lampshade on fire. So I wouldn't worry about it melting the transfer. I'd worry about it. I did those ones a little far apart. I'd be more worried about it um, catching your lampshade on fire. Yeah, we might we might do something else to this now now that I see it come into life. I don't know what. I don't know what. You guys, I make a lot of mistakes, and I I'm very indecisive. A lot of a lot of times, but that is the creator I am. And if you're like that, and you feel like that's wrong, and you shouldn't, um, um, yeah, you could totally stamp on it too, Judy. Yes, yes. Um, it's not wrong because if you don't like it, or you. Either you love something or you don't, or you're like, eh, or you know the potential is there, but you're just not sure what it is. Um, happy accidents. Yes. Wow, Jim, you've been in the creative world too long. You know this, these phrases. Uh, um, yeah, that artist, what was his name? Happy accident. Um, it's okay to change your mind or change or let it sit there. Uh, Karen Miles, my friend. How are you, Bob Ross? Yes, yes. Yes, girl, Karen. Thanks for being here, my friend. Um, Because you want to love it. And if you're not sure what it needs, I do recommend that you should um, put it in a spot you walk by often. I'm not just so good at doing anything. Yeah, doing round is not easy. Would the inlays work on it lampshade? So yes, they would. However, um, uh, mistakes, embellishments, opportunities. If you were to use a paint, if you were, so the paint inlays are meant with paint, right? If you're paint, you know, like we said earlier, when you paint glass and you hold it up to, you think it's covered, but you hold it up to the light and you see all these brush strokes and you can see through it. That'd be the same thing with this. I would make sure that your paint is solid, solid. He was a rad dude. Uh, you know, so if you turn on a lamp, you don't want it to look terrible, your paint job to look terrible. So what I would suggest, instead of painting, if you're gonna use the inlay, is to use the medium, use a clear medium with your paint inlay, which is a little trickier, which we're gonna go into deep diving in our new Scrappy's Master Crew class <laughs> at some point. Uh, he was the king of ASMR before it, yes, became a thing, absolutely. Um, so yes, a paint inlay would work. I just don't think painting a lamp a lampshade is the best idea unless you really um, painted it uh, a lot of layers and you kept holding it up to the light and be certain that it doesn't look all janky because it could look really bad. It might look good right here, but the minute you add light to it, it's like, ew. They look like they're hand painted on there, don't they? I should have, I got a little bit of space there. We can always put smaller ones in there if we need to. This probably would have been pretty with the peonies. Really would have been pretty. Even the ferns, like the, I was going ferns. I think the, the, the millets transfer, they, they're too muted, but I think these greens would have been really nice on there. On the these would have been good. This one's way too big. This one's huge. It's almost as big as this whole page. But some of these smaller ones, we can always add, I don't know. Let's get this part finished before I start going to the next stage. All right, left, right, left, right, left, right. We're going, let's go straight. Let's go straight. Let's get this one. Let's get this one. Is that one too short? No. Let's go with this guy here. <sighs> I like the scale of the lamp over the side. Oh, good. It does, it does kind of look natural. These colors go really nice together. I picked this lampshade up at Walmart. Um, 
A long time ago. long time ago. It's just been sitting here. Like I said, I don't have a match for it for a lamp, but I do have two thrifted lamps somewhere around here. I'll have to see if this shade fits that kind of lamp that I have. And if it does, well, la dee da we'll have us a lamp. Connecticut versus San Diego. Uh, wasn't there some kind of San Diego game tonight? San Diego. Oh, it was on Mar Mara was when Mara was on the game was on. It's kind of funny because um, Mara, somebody won something and uh, Mara announced the name and um, the bar or whatever downstairs went like you could hear it so like they were cheering for her. the timing was like on point. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Pretty funny. She's trying to she has a bar downstairs. And it's been messing up her life, so they try to go earlier to avoid the noise. And that didn't really work out. I mean, it did work out, but... Summer in forensics? <laughs> Summer. I don't think so. Summer is a creative as well. Summertime creations. But time, like TH time. TH time. All right. I hear something. Like something large outside my door. I wonder if the big nasty palmetto bug crawled out of the vacuum. The vacuum's on the porch. Just a handheld vacuum. Um... Oh, I missed all that, Judy. Sorry. Um, because that's what it sounded like. Hope he's not coming back in here to to get even with me. Right before I hit the live, you guys are just jumping on right now. I heard uh, Tudor Macro Fresh. No, no peeping Tom. <laughs> um, right before I went to go live, I heard something. I have a tin pan that I hold water in, or I put water in when I need it, and I. I heard something on it. Like it sounded like a large bug or like a mouse or something. And uh, thank you, Shonda. And it was a ginormous, nasty, nasty palmetto bug. And I didn't know what to do because if I would have hit it, it would have fell down in this box and I would have never got it. So I had my little handheld vacuum there, but the, two, the, the nozzle was too small, like to suck him up. So I took that off. So I had to get, get even closer. I put it on high and I, I ran it out. It's perfect. It's perfect, darling. Perfect. What if we put these two? Is that going to throw us off if I do something cray cray like that? Because these are so much bigger. No. These two, and then we'll go with something smaller i was texting him i said there's either a large bug in here or a mouse whose phone was on vibrate we need that rolling pin and knock the <laughs> peeping tom he's gonna get more than that he's gonna get more than that he ain't gonna get close enough to me to for me to hit him with that nope nope not today um i'm trying to like fancy this smaller one in here I'm not loving it. I'm not, I'm not loving it. It's just, I don't know. These are so much bigger. The, for whatever reason, these flowers are so much. Oh, here's one. Look at that. It's going due east. Look at that. Um, I don't know if you guys saw my reel last night, um, but my husband's been so sad because he loves mother nature and deer and all that stuff and he gets wicked buck fever and all that stuff and you know there's been like people um oh so gross it was so gross um anyways he was you know he's been kind of bumming because he'll put corn out for the the deer and whatever and 
there's no deer around here anymore. There's, you know, people moving in and doing construction and they're putting in this fiber. And, um, I went in last night and, uh, I don't know what I was doing. I think I came from out here anyways. I just came in the house and I could hear him. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> and there was a parade of deer, five of them. So that was pretty awesome. He was so excited. So we went and got more corn that morning, yesterday morning. And then today he sat in his one of his chairs for, my gosh, three hours. Waiting for another one to come by again, but they didn't show up tonight. <laughs> but he's so happy. So happy. The little things. It's the little things. Uh, oh, God, I missed your comment up above. What did what'd you say now, you crazy lady? What'd you say? Uh... My channel name is my nickname since I was born. Oh, I missed that one. What? What? Oh, I missed it. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. I'll have to look. How can, because anybody know how I can see comments from the live after the live? Like I tried to watch the live to see if I could see them and they're not there. Oh, wait. Never mind. I did figure it out last night. Never mind. I'm a ding dong. I was half asleep. Last. I was so tired last night. No, I slept. So I went to bed. I didn't even come alive last night. Um, he's calling his friends. He, I'm afraid to open that door. I don't hear it now. But I didn't go live last night. I was exhausted. I went to bed early. And I slept like all night. I slept. I got up at 11 or 11.30. And then at 4 o'clock, I was just tired. Um, you see them on. Yeah, I didn't at first. I think I had to do something. I think I had to flip the phone. or I can't remember what I did. But I, I did actually figure it out. Um, and I was just tired since I woke up. So I lay down at four, four o'clock. I was like, I told Ryan, I said, I'm just going to lay down for a minute. No, seven o'clock. I woke up. I don't know what day it was. I don't know why I'm so tired. I, I feel fine. I was just tired. But no reason. No reason. So now I'll probably be up till six. I, Queen B is a, uh, I don't know, I don't want to say it wrong, but she is, I don't want to say ambassador or, um, uh, oh, I can't think of the, uh, there's another word that I can't think of, but like, um, assistant to help, um, oh, I saw that one. Yes, I, I did see that one. And I said, they're not going to get close enough to me. Uh, before I take care of them. All right. Looks like we got maybe one small one and we got a wrap. Um, an assist, Queen B, what's your title? An assistant to help get the crowd going, share the, share the, um, share the good stuff with her community, the community, the YouTube community, 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 community. <laughs> you can't spit it out. Oh, I keep picking that same one up. Uh-oh. So if you don't want that to happen, kind of like a moderator, but more professional. So if you have scraps, um, I could have bears. Um, if you have scraps, because if that comes off, that sticks to anything. Uh, team Queen Bee Community and Tracy's Permanent Association channel with a community, with my community. There you go. <laughs> I couldn't have said that. You want to put a little piece of painter's tape or staple before you throw this in your little bin, or you can take the chance of it. But sometimes once they come off, they come off. So if you put a little tape on there, you won't have that problem. So, yeah, she's been uh, helping, scrapping me out there. <laughs> she's been scrapping me out there. All right, we only need one more. So let's just go with this guy right here. She's been scrapping me out, Jude. Scrapping me out. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> because I didn't have any help. Like, when I started Facebook, I had help. I had collaboration. I had other gals to mention my name and events to be a part of and whatever. And, um, uh, there on, did they peel off? Here? Uh, oh, you could probably scrape. Now I could scrape it off with my fingernail or sandpaper. But no, they don't come off because they're so thin. Um, you should put a top coat on them and then they won't scrape off. But no, they won't come off. They will not come off. If you drop this on your granite countertop, you ain't getting it off. <laughs> you are not getting it off. 
um, at all. Uh, yeah, Judy, there's so many, yo, there's a whole world out there besides Facebook, like a whole new world. There's so many people that do not like Facebook. It will blow your mind. It will blow your mind. And I feel like, in a way, I feel like shame on us for not realizing sooner. Um, yeah. Um, but we don't know what we don't know, too. So, I mean, it, it goes both ways. Um, all right, I'm just chopping this last one up into a couple pieces here. Yeah, see, Jim doesn't have face, but there's a lot of, like, a lot of people who do not like Facebook, period, for many reasons. Um, or they're just not associated with it. But a lot of them are something happens or didn't happen or whatever but it's it's pretty astounding how many people do not like facebook so there's that there's that but you know it's very easy to get comfortable with a platform because you know it you know it's familiar we don't like change your communities are you know people you know you get to know people in the comments you know but then again we all had to start out not knowing each other to begin with. So we're kind of doing that. I feel like if anything, we're just expanding our family here and, you know, meeting new people and new experiences. And we're not freezing and <laughs> doing all those stupid things. That, you know, they're not reporting me for music. I'm not playing every other video. And then you got to go fight it. And, you know, it's stupid. Why report me for music you ain't playing? I'm bringing people together. That's right. That's right. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a matchmaker. Y'all did it. No, I'm a matchmaker. Why does it do that sometimes and not others? There we go. Sean, I really want to back out. I'm new to YouTube, but I want to... Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. And I appreciate that because I know technology is not easy for some of y'all and you got out of sight of your comfort zone to be here for me and um i really appreciate that i mean that means a lot more than you know who knows you might be a new youtube lover i told you all mark my words mark my words by the end of the year by the end of the year you are going to see a lot of creators over here should have moved that one over. All right, I'm just going to put this one in here. I don't know that we're done with this one yet. I mean, we're done for tonight after this last piece, but I don't know that I'm done with it. Does that make sense? I am going to see if I can find the lamp. First, I got to find the lamp. Lamps. And then if I do find... I don't know if they're here or not, to be honest with you. And then I got to see if it fits. And if I don't have the lamps and they don't fit, then we're done. It's a great joy to get to know help others. You know, it's very. We need to help. I mean, with collaboration, you don't. You don't really stand a chance. It's definitely a lot more work, and it definitely makes things better. Makes you a better channel. It makes you a better performer. With all those things, when you do have support from others, so. Kumbaya, y'all. Kumbaya. Really put a dent in there. This one. Mm -hmm. uh, good night, Kim. It's not freezing and no commercials. <laughs> well, the one thing I've got to stick up about the ads is the ads on any platform, regardless if you get paid. Well, some people don't get paid for them because they're not monetized, but they are very valuable to the creative because they're an income. They help you keep doing what you're doing and um, it just keeps you going. I mean, you all need finances to keep going. So, yeah, this came out really cute. Of course, you're only gonna see one side of it. Um, you've been using YouTube more and more. It's good. YouTube, I'm telling you what, anything and everything you ever want to know is on YouTube. I don't care what it is, the stupidest thing, you will find a video on it. On it. I can't tell you how many times YouTube has gotten me through. YouTube helped me build my website. Not only did I cry 
many tears and it took me four months but without YouTube videos to help me build my website, I would have never been able to do it. Um, yeah, isn't that cool, Shonda? Very cool. Facebook doesn't have that, do they? You watch new, see, Jim watches YouTube more than Netflix. And that's another thing, statistic I found out that a lot of people, like one of my TV, but the TV in my bedroom, I don't know what brand it is. It's a, not a very good brand, but um, it has voodoo. Um, Netflix, YouTube, and something else. But anyways, I found out that a lot of older people, like 50s and older, including myself, um, YouTube has free movies, that they watch YouTube on their TV. That's what, that's their entertainment. So it's good to learn new stuff. I'm told that Facebook is not used by the younger crowd. So I, I think, I don't even know. I mean, the shorts drive me crazy. I mean, we have to do them. The golden years of this app are less complete now. My Google owns YouTube. It has become more. Yes, I do agree with that. I don't mind watching them live. They play in every YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but there's, we have no control over them at all. Like, at all. YouTube, you can skip them. YouTube, you can pay. I think it starts at $4.99 a month. You can pay $4.99 a month to never see ads. Like, that's a pretty good deal if you're not, you know, the ads make you cuckoo crazy. Five bucks to not just see anything is to me a, a hell of a deal. But um yeah, I don't know. It's just I don't know. I just I think it's all good. It's all good. All change is good. Any like anything in YouTube ain't going nowhere. YouTube's owned by Google. It ain't going nowhere. It ain't going nowhere. And there's people here to help you. Like, I know that sounds crazy. <laughs> I, I just it's it's a win. It's a win. And I'm glad you guys Took the plunge and made it over here with me. So, uh, Queen Bee's a bodyguard of her community. You know, we could always take this the extra mile. And you could put a little, maybe dark or lavender type um, trim or whatever around these edges if you want. There's a lot more we could do to this. Add to make hubby go crazy. Well, then he'd be he'd be glad to pay the five bucks. He would be glad to pay the five bucks, um, which I think is a great option. Why doesn't Facebook have that option? Either you see ads or pay a revenue and not see them. It's your choice. I mean, because ads, ads are what keeps anything going. Newspaper, everything. A little tiny, you know, those little community newspapers? That newspaper wouldn't be a newspaper if it wasn't for ads. So it's all about advertisement. Um, I need to go thrifting again. So I, like I said, I had two lamps, but when I moved here, I think I brought them with me. I painted one black and one was like a cream. Both small to fit this but i don't know if they'll fit this you know what i mean you know how all the lamps are different but we'll see i don't know and like i said i don't i'm usually simple but we might leave it just as it is actually it is pretty cute. i like this part right here uh so i came to youtube because i had free movies and free music free. there's a lot of free good stuff there's no doubt about that and like i said you need to know something youtube you it's it's out there it i've never googled any or Googled anything that didn't, um, oh my gosh, Jim, thank you so much. Jim's a super thanks. <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, they didn't come up like, didn't find anything in your search. Oh, Jim, that was cool. Thank you. I can see it again. I can see it again. You see what Jim did there? <laughs> thank you. That's awesome. I think it's called super thanks. Uh, oh, thank you, Judy. Super stickers, hype. Yes, thank you, Jim. <laughs> super stickers. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm a YouTuber now. I'm, I'm an official YouTuber. I'm so excited. So excited. Look at um, our pieces we did the other night. I am taking them off. I am going to put them on a full ribbon. Is this what we did on YouTube? Yeah, I'm going to put them on the full ribbon. But don't they look vintage? They so do really look old. I love them. I love them. All right, you guys, thank you so much for your time. If you're not subscribed, um, I need a lamp without a heart. The shade is yes, yes. Yeah, yes. If you're not subscribed, I'd love for you to subscribe. Turn on your notifications. Watch. I got a, ton, I got a couple hundred videos out there. If, if I'm your style and I, I'm your type of fancy, then I would love for you. Thank you, Linda. Um, love for you to come back and see me. I hope I'll be on tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow? Tomorrow I have an event. I have to be on at 9 p.m. Eastern on Facebook. But I might come on. Well, I can't come on after that. If I, if I come on, it'll be before... It'll be before 6 p.m. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, 
But there's our IOD painterly floral lavender transfer book. And um, you guys ever have any questions or whatever? I don't know how to tell you to message me on here, but you can email me. It's in the description. <laughs> but thank you guys so much. Have a safe rest of your evening and happy Sunday. Thank you, Jim. Bye, guys.